Hello everyone, welcome to a Small Turbo YouTube channel. So today, let's discuss our last but not the least module for quarter 3. It's quarter 3 module 7.2, titled Charging by Conduction. We're going to start by answering the what I know for the Alright, number 1. Which of the following materials are considered as good conductors? It's copper among the choices. Next number, what kind of charging process involves the contact of charged object to a neutral object? That's conduction. Suppose that a positively charged aluminum plate is brought in a contact with a neutral metal sphere. What will happen to the neutral metal sphere? It will become positively charged. A negatively charged metal rod is brought in contact with a neutral metal sphere. As a result, what will be the charge of the sphere and the metal rod? Negatively charged. Which of the following best characterizes electrical conductors? So, electric charges move freely in electrical conductors. Number 6. Which of the following can be attracted by a positively charged object? It's a neutral object. If a negatively charged rod touches a conductor, the conductor will be charged by what method? That's conduction. When a neutral electroscope is touched with a negatively charged rod, what is the charge of the electroscope after the contact? Negative. Of the following materials, which one contains the highest density of free electrons? It's iron. If body P with a positive charge is placed in contact with body Q initially uncharged, what will be the nature of the charge left on Q? Must be positive. When a negatively charged balloon is used to charge a neutral object by contact, what would be the result? Both the balloon and the object would become negatively charged. A neutral electroscope is touched with a negatively charged rod. What is the charge on the electroscope after the rod is removed? Negative. A metal sphere is electrically neutral. It is touched by a positively charged metal rod. As a result, the metal sphere becomes charged positively, which of the following occurred during the process. Don't that look. 1, 3, and 4. How is charging by conduction carried out? By bringing two objects in contact with each other. Parang pareho na friction pero ang kaibahan lang is the other object is neutral. And both are conductors. In friction, hindi necessary na conductors ang dalawa. Uh, hindi talaga conductors. Why are metals useful for making electrical wires? So, metals are conductors. In our previous video lesson, you learned about charging processes like friction or charging by triple electric, uh, charging or rubbing, and charging by induction. So, yung charging by friction, that the object, the two objects uh, are in contact with each other. Whereas, in charging by induction, the two objects uh, can be charged without actual contact. So, in here, we have the checked, okay, checked portion for charging by friction and charging by induction. Okay, so the term for, uh, the clue word for charging by induction is brought near. Then, for the charging by friction, it's rubbed, okay, rubbed. The negatively charged balloon, okay, charging by friction siya, pero baka merong na, 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 na missing words here. Kasi the negatively charged balloon is being, um, is brought near to 
something that's charging by induction. Then this one, okay, rub. The word is rub, so that's friction. So in this part, you are going to do this activity on your own. And just have these rubrics. And right, so our discussion will focus on the charging by conduction, also known as charging by contact, where an object can be charged with actual contact of a charged object to a neutral object. So basically, in charging by conduction, ang mangyayari is like this. For example, meron tayong negatively charged cylindrical rod and ito neutral siya na sphere and take note both should be a conductor. When you say conductor, the charges can freely move, uh, or I mean the electron charges can freely move in between, can transfer from one material to another material. Kasi in charging by conduction, in the neg if the if the negatively charged cylindrical rod is brought in contact with this neutral spherical sphere ang mangyayari is lahat ng electrons na nandito sa cylindrical rod ay magpunta dito sa neutral spherical sphere so ang mangyayari magiging negatively charged itong neutral spherical sphere and itong si cylindrical rod ang ma, ang ang ano ba to ang maiiwan are the protons take notes si electrons lang ang pwedeng mag transfer from one material to another hindi pwede si protons kasi nasa nucleus siya naka-enclose siya doon hindi siya pwedeng ma remove from a material so basically si electrons ay magpunta sa neutral spherical sphere. So, this time, magiging negatively charged itong neutral spherical sphere. That's charging by conduction. Okay, here. Let's try to read if we have the same uh, explanation. Suppose that a positively charged aluminum plate is touched to a neutral metal sphere. The neutral metal sphere becomes charged as a result of being contacted by the charged aluminum plate. The uncharged metal object will now have a net positive charge because it has lost some of its electrons. On the other hand, the positively charged metal becomes less positively charged after the conduction process because electrons from the neutral metals transferred to it. Therefore, the two objects end up with the same sign of charge. Alright. So, yan ang mayayari. Okay. Let's have the other way around. Or suppose that a negatively charged metal sphere is touched to the top of a plate of a neutral metal tillis electroscope. The neutral electroscope becomes charged as the result of being contacted by the metal sphere. Magiging negatively charged din siya sa electroscope. So, the process of conduction requires both objects to be conductors of electrons to move and redistribute themselves. When charging takes place by conduction, objects involved will acquire the same type of charge. So, for example, ito. Meto, meron tayong metal sphere, then meron tayong rod dito na positively charged. So, ang mangyayari dito is magiging the same na sila, magiging positively charged na sila. So, ang mangyayari kasi attracted si electrons sa positively charged rod. So, mag-travel siya from the metal sphere to the rod. Katulad ng nangyayari dito. And after which, magiging positively charged na si metal sphere. And then ito is less positively charged. Pero positively charged pa rin naman si rod kasi hindi man aalis si proton sa kanya. So, magiging the same ang kanilang charges. That's what, that's how charging by conduction happened. So, the end, the end, uh, what's this? The end product is magiging the same sila ng charge sa neutral and sa yung charge na nag-contact, I mean, object, charge object in contact. So, 
Okay, let's have this another example. So in figure 5, this is figure 5. Consider that we are, we have a positively charged cylindrical rod which is placed in contact with a neutral sphere. Upon contact, electrons move from sphere and onto the rod. Ito yung sinabi ko kanina. So the cylindrical rod has less excess positive charge. Okay, and the metal sphere now has an excess of positive charge. When the process of charging by conduction is complete, cylindrical rod becomes negatively charged and the sphere also becomes positively charged. Parang may nagkamali dito. Dapat kasi magiging the same sila. Charges cannot be created or destroyed but can be transferred from one material to another. The total charge in the system must remain constant. Oh, ito. Therefore, the two objects end up with the same sign of charge. The same sign of charge ang mangyayari. Alright. So, dito. Let's have the what's more. So, this part here, it's your, it's your turn to answer this. Okay? So, you are going to explain how charges from one body can be transferred to another body. As you can see, metal sphere siya, may aluminum plate. So, the end, the diagram 3, nagiging the same na ang kanilang charges after in contact. After their contact. Okay? So, you answer this using, I mean, have this criteria, rubrics of scoring as your guide. For the what I have learned, okay, Materials that, that conduct electric charges, conductors, protons do not move from one material to another because they are held firmly in the nucleus. Charging by conduction is a process of giving one object to a net electric charge by placing it in contact with a charged object. Anyway, ipost niyo na lang itong video para mag over yung answers. Baka kasi maubusan tayo ng time. For the what I can do, very easy lang naman ito. Okay. Ito, the same, my rubrics. Yes, and the assessment. Yay, malapit na tayong matapos kasi meron pa tayong suggested activity or additional activities na answeran. So, pakipause lang ng video para mag-over kayo sa correct answers. And for the additional activities, nandyan. Pakipost din lang ng video para po kayo makapag go over sa answers natin. Okay. Let's make it bigger. And this ends our video lesson for today. I hope you learned something uh, about the three types of charging. Okay, so... Let's wait for the next uh, video lesson and it would be all about the fourth quarter. So, bye-bye!